or diminished. But danger often lurks where it is not at all expected. There are other predators in the area. Hidden in a crevice, a moray eel is surveying its territory, into which only cleaner fish are admitted. And then, suddenly, it strikes. Laurent immediately returns to the surface. I should have been more careful with that sort of current. I was holding on and then suddenly I felt something gripping my finger. I thought I was being careful, but I obviously wasn't watching where I put my hand. I was counting the sharks. On the first count, there were 70 of them. I had got to 70 when it suddenly felt as if my finger had been caught in a vice. It was a... a more eel. Yeah. As soon as things start happening with the sharks, you tend to forget what's going on around you, and that's when accidents happen. When you're down on the seabed, and you're bleeding, with the sharks circling in front of you, the only fish that got really close were the big red snappers, the one that have those mean-looking fangs. It was pretty scary. After a while, I had to put my hand under my armpit to slow down the bleeding and prevent the odor from spreading, because they were really starting to move in on me. They're omnivores. They eat anything that moves. And anything that has an odor. I was far more worried by them than by the sharks. Sharks are much more selective than we think. They prefer fish, and human blood has no effect on them. Fourteen. Fourteen stitches. <laughs>